Hello and welcome back for a new review and welcome back to Cobra Convergence. This is the fourth edition, meaning it's the fourth year of Cobra Convergence. Cobra Convergence is a month-long series of G.I. Joe content creators who produce content solely based on Cobra. So today we're going to take a look at one of the most iconic characters of Cobra, Cobra Commander himself from the series of Hall of Fame. This is the 12 inch G.I. Joe Cobra Commander. Okay, so we have 12 inch Cobra Commander from the Hall of Fame series. This came out in 1992. And this particular figure was one of the first four to come out. Initially, Duke came out as a single exclusive figure for Target, then a four piece set with a retooled Duke, as well as Cobra Commander, Stalker, and Snake Eyes would comprise of the first series of the 12 inch Hall of Fame G.I. Joes. It was their first step back into the 12 inch realm, having left it back in 1976. And it was the first iteration of the real American hero line depicted in 12 inch scale. Here is Cobra Commander as released in 1983 with the swivel arm. He's essentially the second version, but basically the same figure. With, in 1982, they had straight arms, meaning they did not have a swivel at the bicep. So this was the first version with the swivel bicep. And you can see Cobra Commander sported the blue uniform with the Cobra emblem in the center, a masked face, and his only weapon was a laser pistol. Fast forward to 1992, and you get his first 12 inch counterpart, 12 inch Cobra Commander, having a very similar look. The line did sport a hooded Cobra Commander instead of a masked Cobra Commander, which had the metal dome. Uh, during the original, ED's lineup and this figure closely resembles it however I don't have that figure uh, to compare them to but in any event we're going to take a close look at this one there's a lot of unique features with this figure and he came with some really interesting accessories and one of his most notable uh, points of interest is his removable mask something that was not done prior to this time so it'll be interesting to see Cobra Commander's actual face, maybe. All right, so taking a look at the accessories, uh, we'll look at one of the main ones, which is his laser rifle. Um, it's a very large rifle, uh, even for the scale of the figure, but it did uh, have an electronic feature, which is why it was so large. You notice it has a speaker there. Batteries are not changeable, these were sealed. Uh, it was a uh, kind of a design flaw that they had uh, and you notice the red button unfortunately being that this is from 1992 uh, it no longer works not only did it have a sound feature it had a light up feature uh, it was pretty cool but uh, again kind of bulky but you'll notice Cobra Commander always seems to sport a laser pistol just like his first iteration then a really cool accessory here is the uh, the briefcase it's a aluminum briefcase and it does open up and inside you've got a really cool uh, detailed interior with this computer screens recording devices a cell phone it's even got a notepad and it reads things to do conquer the world a couple of pens a calculator and a speaker a lot of really nice detail and of course he comes with a couple of extra goodies inside he has this very large cobra this very large cobra knife it, you see it has a snake skin motif on it uh, some teeth 
Um, it also has what looks like an eagle's claw holding perhaps a crystal ball. Uh, a lot of detail went into that, which is really cool. Then the uh, what looks to me like a uh, Luger, I believe it's called. Uh, gun commonly used, I believe, in the uh, German army during World War II. Uh, kind of, uh, I guess, alluding to his uh, enemy status. Nice detail on the handle. So those are two really cool goodies inside. And then finally, let's take a look at what I find the most fascinating. It's a booklet that they used to give to all of the 12-inch figures during the original line. Um, and they've redid it for the, uh, the 90s Hall of Fame line. And they made it specific for each particular character. It's their operations manual. And it gives you the... Uh, the year that it came out, which is 1992. And it gives you the history of Cobra, which is an interesting read. You could feel free to pause and read that. Um, gives you a breakdown of his goods. Different poses you could put him in. Uh, I always found this very interesting, especially for the G.I. Joe version, is you had uh, their ranks and what it all meant. The Army and the Marines, those were cool. But this is the Cobra ranking system. An interesting detail. Had to change the uniforms, the weapons, the gear, the uniform itself, and then the Cobra Oath of Injustice. Again, you can feel free to pause and read that. And then on the back is the Vow of Dishonor. The original uh, Joes had uh, the Pledge of Allegiance, which was a nice touch, I thought. So really interesting and very cool accessories. Okay, so let's take a look at the articulation of Cobra Commander. His head could swivel left and right. His shoulders could go all the way around, out. He had a snap elbow, which could snap at a few... Uh, a few points. He also had a swivel at the bicep. Nothing at the wrist. Uh, nothing also at the waist. But he did have hip articulation which would move forward, back, and out. And he also had knee articulation which was also under that ratchet system. So you can get a few ratchets out of that. Hall of Fame did not have the greatest articulation but what it did have is some pretty nice detail and some really cool figures. All right, to so the moment you guys have all been waiting for, what does Cobra Commander look like under that hood? <laughs> a little bit of a cheat. So they did give him a mask under his mask, but they do show a good portion of his face. Uh, you notice he has uh, green eyes. He's got a uh, scowl on him, which I think is uh, very appropriate. Almost looks like he's got the Rocks People eyebrow there. Uh, around uh, slick black hair. And then that mask is put together with a snake motif. A uh, little emblem there. But uh, pretty nice detail, I think. Pretty cool looking uh, depiction, at least it gives you a little bit more than you've ever gotten till this point for Cobra Commander's actual face. So that's it guys, that's Cobra Convergence 4 from the Skull Reviews. I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at the 12 inch Hall of Fame Cobra Commander and I uh, thank you very much for watching, subscribing and commenting. Until next time, guys.